Hello everybody. Today we are here to discuss about the long questions from class 10 math chapter compound interest. In the previous videos we learned 12 different long questions related to compound interest. The questions we learned previously are on the screen right now. Okay. We'll discuss two more questions related to compound interest. Question number 13. The simple interest and compound interest of a sum of money in two years are rupees 1000 and rupees 1050 respectively. Find the annual rate of interest and the principal. This question is asked in SLC 2072. Here in the question, simple interest is rupees 1000 and compound interest is rupees 1050 of a certain sum. And the time is two years for both simple interest and compound interest. We need to find out the rate of interest per annum and the sum of the principal. Solution. Given in the question, simple interest equals to rupees 1000. Compound interest equals to rupees 1050. Time t equals to 2 years we need to find out the rate r and the principal p let's start with the simple interest we know simple interest equals to p t r by 100 or 1000 equals to p T is 2, we don't know R divided by 100. Or 2 1 the 2, 250 the 100. First multiplying we will get 1000 into 50 equals to PR. Therefore, PR equals to 50,000. Let us suppose equation 1. Again, now let's use the compound interest. Compound interest equals to P 1 plus R by 100 whole power T minus 1 or 1050 equals to P 1 plus R by 100 whole power T. T is 2 minus 1. 1 can be written as 1 square. It forms a square minus b square form or 1050 equals to p it can be written as 1 plus r by 100 plus 1 1 plus r by 100 minus 1 or 1050 equals to p 2 plus r by 100 here 1 minus 1 is 0, the union is R by 100. Or 1050 equals to multiplying this both P R by 100, 2 plus R by 100. Now, here from equation 1, using equation 1, using equation 1, we can write. 1050 equals to PR. PR means 50,000. 50,000 divided by 100, 2 plus R by 100. Or here, 20 can be cancelled. Or 1050 divided by 500 equals to 2 plus r by 100. 110 can be cancelled. Dividing 105 by 50, we will get 2.1. 2.1. If it comes beside, then it becomes minus 2. r by 100. Or 0 0.1 equals to r by 100. Or you can write r is equal to 0 0.1 into Therefore, we will get rate equals to 10% per 
and now. Now, using the value of R in equation 1. Also, using equation 1, P R equals to 50,000. It means P R equals to 50,000. Or P into 10 equals to 50,000. Or P equals to 50,000 divided by 10. Therefore, P is equal to rupees 5000. Rent is 10% per annum, principal is rupees 5000. Question number 14. Divide rupees 2100 in two parts such that the annual compound amount of first part for three years is equal to equal with the compound amount of the second part for two years at 10% rate in both. Here in the questions, there is a sum rupees 21,000. We need to divide 21,000 in two parts in such a way that annual compound amount of the first year for three years must be equal with the compound amount for the second part for three years at 10% rate in the both. So, so let one one part be rupees x then other part equals to rupees 21,000 minus x if a1b compound amount of rupees x after 3 years at rate of 10% per annum then we can write a1 equals to p 1 plus r divided by 100 whole power t that will be equal to x 1 plus 10 divided by 100 whole power 3. Let us solve the equation 1. Again, if A2 be the compound amount of rupees. 1000 minus x after 2 years at rate 10% per annum then a2 equals to 21000 minus x 1 plus 10 divided by 100 whole power 2. Let us solve the equation 2. Now, by question, a1 is equal to a2. So, we can write x. 1 plus 10 by 100 whole cube equals to 21,000 minus x 1 plus 10 by 100 whole square or Minus x divided by x equals to 
1 plus 10 divided by 100 whole power cube divided by 1 plus 10 divided by 100 whole square. This 1 plus 10 divided by 100 is equal to 3 times. This is equal to 3 times. This is equal to 3 times. Or 21,000 minus x equals to x 1 plus 10 divided by 100. Or 21,000 minus x equals to 10 divided by 100 is 0 0.1 plus 1 is 1.1 x or 1.1 x plus x equals to 21,000 or 2.1 x equals to 21,000. equals to 21,000 divided by 2.1. Therefore, x equals to rupees, x equals to rupees 10,000. And the second part, 21,000 minus x will be, and 21 thousand minus x equals to twenty one thousand minus ten thousand that will be equals to eleven thousand hence first part first part is rupees ten thousand and Second part is rupees eleven thousand. If you have any confusion and questions from today's discussion, you can comment below. And in our next video, we will discuss about mensuration, concept of plane surface, cylinder and sphere, prism and pyramid. To get more videos like this, please like, share, subscribe and press notification button.